Hey guys, I want to talk today about uh, taking solos that make sense. And we're going to use this beautiful tune, uh, Someday My Prince Will Come, because it has a set of chord changes that really allow me to uh, illustrate this concept. Now, what does it mean, make sense? To me, what it means to make sense is to play melodies that are cohesive, sound good, connect with the changes, have good themes, uh, use repetition and motif development. Um, all of those things that make a good melody also go into making a good solo. If we want to have good models for our improvisation, one of the best models is the song itself. I like to think of this um, method of listening to the melody, learning from the melody, and expanding that to other lines of trajectory that resemble the melody. So first of all, let's look at the melody. The five, the sharp five, the sharp eleven, and then the root, then the fifth, and then the sharp five, and then nine, and the fifth. And that's just the primary melody note. It's not the entire melody. It's just the, the note that sort of begins the bar. So there's a concept I want to share with you called logic lines. And this is a term I made up, so don't expect to find out about it in the curriculum of other places. A logic line is a smooth, stepwise melody that flows from chord to chord. Now, somebody might say, well, those are just guide tones. And I would say that guide tones, meaning the third and the seventh of these chords, could be part of this system. But uh, logic lines are not limited to thirds and sevenths. So that's why I came up with a new name. It's just a simple line that flows through the chord changes that makes sense. So let's say there's the fifth of B flat, the third of D, the third of E flat, the flat nine of G, and then back to the fifth of C. And then maybe whatever we want to do there, D F down. And then E on the top of C7. And then E flat. So those were thirds and sevenths along with other uh, pitches as well. So I'll, I'll track it again. Fifth, third, third, flat nine. Fifth, flat seven, third, flat seven, and then flat three, flat three, flat three, thirteen, eleven, flat nine, six, <laughs> something like that maybe. There are many of these things. The trick is to pick a note in the first chord in the progression, I picked the fifth, and then move by step to a top note of the next chord that in some way that makes sense. Uh, I can pick another note to start on, the third of the B flat. Let's leave it there or go down. There we go, let's say third of B flat goes to flat seven of D fifth of E flat, third of G. Oh, that's a really nice one. Back down to the flat seven, up to the third, and then flat seven, maybe. So many choices, but each one of them makes, in some ways, makes more sense to your ear because it's a melody rather than which is the root mo motion it's important to understand that and have that in your mind as well but this brings us to the next thing which is about this business of making your solo an improvisation that makes sense 
So I'm going to take one of these and use it as a scaffolding. If you listen carefully, a lot of times the first note I played in my melodic exposition was one of the notes of these of this logic line that I chose. So we have idea here is to create a simple melody that's based on a simpler melody that flows through the changes. Now if you do that kind of thing with your chord voicings, then those melodies will become embedded in your consciousness <laughs> so that when you go to improvise over this chord progression or another chord progression, you have in your mind a through line which guides you. It's even better than memorizing the roots. Of course, we need to memorize the roots. But this melody that embeds itself, at least for me, the melody embeds itself in my mind, and I, I hear it. I don't just think about it. I don't just try and keep track like a bookkeeper. Oh, now I'm in this, now I'm in that. I actually hear this melody. <laughs> So you hear this beautiful little inside trajectory that lands on these important chord tones that flows through. You're not going to get this if you just say, okay, I'm going to play a B flat major scale and try and do my best. Although, if you work on this, you will get these sounds in your ear and then that magical thing happens, which is you actually hear your way through the tune. Okay, so take a song, maybe not this one, but something uh, simple at first and then maybe a little bit more uh, uh, detailed later. Find the logic lines that are flowing through this piece. Now, there's no right and wrong about this. As long as you can justify one of the, the notes being related to the chord of the moment, you're good. And you can use one note per chord in a 3-4 song. One note per chord is enough. In a 4-4 four, four song, maybe two notes per chord. But... Uh, just experiment and teach yourself how to hear the inside movement of a chord progression. All right. Thanks for listening. Take care, guys. Thank you.